From the combined newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, KVAL News at 5 starts now. Record-breaking temperatures continue this week after a scorching holiday weekend that included some dangerous circumstances in the water. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Kammerman. And I'm Kendall Bartley. Dozens of water rescues happening over the July 4th holiday weekend, straining the Lane County Sheriff's Office Marine Rescue Team. KVAL's Tiffany Lewis headed out on the water with LCSO for details on how the water rescue team handled a busy few days. Over the holiday weekend, LCSO's Marine Patrol rescued dozens of people in rivers and lakes. We probably helped and saved eight or nine people just in a two hour period below Hayden Bridge. From July 4th to Sunday, July 7th, deputies rescued more than 20 people. Due to LCSO's limited resources and staff, the county works closely with Eugene Springfield Fire and Rescue. If they have a boat in the water and it's closer, then um, certainly they're going to respond first and then vice versa um, if we're already in an area uh, where a rescue comes in. According to LCSO, the vast majority of people are rescued not on boats or rafts, but on cheap flotation devices, typically designed for use in a pool. When people get into, like on the rivers, when people get into trees, branches, it doesn't take a lot to pop those and then they're swimming in the water. Additionally, most paddle boarders are unaware that state law requires a life jacket, a whistle, and a waterway access permit to operate paddle craft. In order to avoid dangerous situations on the water, deputies say it's vital to have a life jacket and be cautious of potentially freezing temperatures, which can cause shock and muscle cramping. Even a strong swimmer in those conditions can very quickly get into trouble um, if they go into the water, even wearing a life jacket. And that's where that life jacket comes important, becomes so important because that's going to keep you afloat even if you're unable to swim. Other hazards include downed trees and debris from January's ice storm. On the Oregon State Marine Board website, a boating obstruction map shows hazards to be mindful of before hitting the water. The water is not a place where you want to experiment because most of the time if you're experimenting with water, water will always win and that's when bad things happen. In Eugene, I'm Tiffany Lewis reporting. LCSO also wants to remind people to be careful about where they park. Last week, a water rescue was made more difficult because someone illegally parked blocking the boat ramp. 